second best record in the American League since the day before the All-Star break. First pitch is a foul off the bat of Lawrence Butler and we're underway. Had a 22 game hitting streak. Soft ground ball to the right side. It'll be Singleton flipping to Frommer. He hits him on the hip with a line drive throw and Frommer couldn't make the play. Maybe slow him down a step or two. He's not going. And a ground ball to third. Bregman to his left. Goes to second for one. Dubon not quite in time to turn the double play. Close play at first. Astros may look at this again. Logan Webb. There goes the runner on a 1-2 pitch. The pitch is down and away. And Brent Rooker has his ninth steal this season. That'll be a walk issue by Fromber. So an error, a fielder's choice, and a walk. Call third strike, bottom of the zone. Blade goes down looking for Fromber's first strikeout of the day. Little tapper, Fromber will glove it on one hop, flip it to first in time to get Geloff for the final out of the inning. He was out on the bump. Alex had a pretty good evening against the A's. Alex with a ground ball towards the hole, and the play made by the shortstop, Jacob Wilson, showing off just like his dad defensively. Short on, tops one that was maybe off the plate as he chops one to the second base side. That'll be the second out of the inning. Season long numbers against the A's pitching staff, just 178. But he hits this one down the line in right field for a base hit. Cutting it off quickly, Lawrence Butler is going to hold Yiner to a single, but the Astros have their first base runner of the day. Back in May 13th. That'll be a called third third strike. Tucker doesn't like the call, but it looked like it may have had the edge. For the A's, Lawrence Butler, the leadoff hitter, and Jacob Wilson, who bats here, the only two that haven't faced Fromber, Mauricio Dubon. In place of Jose Altuve makes the play there for the first out. And they were they were expecting him to be more sore, but when I heard he was messing around with the medicine ball today, that is definitely good news. Yeah, that's that's not a guy who's dealing with much of an oblique issue if he's messing around in the gym with a medicine ball. Games played behind his double play partner Jeremy Pena. Line drive speared by John Singleton to end the inning. Daz Cameron hits it hard. Electricity would be great. <laughs> Instead, it's a three-pitch strikeout to start the inning for Spence. So Spence, only triple of his big league career. This one is the other way, a flare that could drop, and it does. That'll be a base hit and a double for Big John. A little different exit velocity than his triple off the bullpen wall, but that'll work. Jake goes after the first one and grounds one to Jacob Wilson. His off-balance throw right on the money. Jacob Wilson has been impressive in short so far. Starts, but he has been precise with his control today until Hayward sends one to right field. All the way back and gone. Jay Hay, his first home run in an Astros uniform. And the Astros take a 2-0 lead. Jay Hay with a laser into the seats. Introducing himself to the faithful out there in right field, usually King's Court, but today it's his. Talked about a lot of that spin and that curveball being a good two-strike pitch. This one comes back to him, stays in the zone. He keeps the hands back and barrels. When he's right, he is a low-line drive type hitter. On this Thursday afternoon finale. Dubon, slow grounder to the right side. He'll put his head down and hustle, but he's out here for the final out of the inning. Sounded like a broken bat potentially. Jeremy Pena's play to get Nick Allen for the first out of the third. A looper could be trouble. It's going to be trouble. Softer hit than the Singleton double is going to be a double for Lawrence Butler as he loops one just inside the left field line. That's now a 20 game hitting streak. Little looper into right, playable for Jason Hayward. He'll actually back up a step or two. Butler is going to tag and test the throw, and he'll get into third with two away. And he goes right down the middle with a fastball for a called third strike. Robert picks up his second strikeout, both called thirds. Got a 2-1 count here on Bregman. 
Bregman hits it off the end of the bat right at Jacob Wilson. And that'll be the first out. Not only does he lead the team in that category, but he's also approaching a team best since 2019 when Michael Brantley had 56 of those multi hit games. Grounds out here for the second out. Go away for a week and then back home for seven more games. Yiner's two for two going after a first pitch here. Both of his hits have come with two outs and nobody on, but he is. Got two of the Astros four hits. First three ball count for Spence. Tucker hooks one to right field pretty well hit. This one is off the wall and bounds away from Butler. Yiner Diaz will be held up as Butler's throw comes in. That was a tough call with two outs for Gary Pettis. Butler had not yet let go of the ball. Pena chops one towards third. On two hops, Nick Allen will make the play. And the Astros will strand two here in the inning. Couple of hits with two outs, two left on. That's a good pitch. Outside corner. Rung up J.J. Blade for the second time. Foul tip caught by Yiner. He picked it before it got to the ground. That'll be the first swinging strikeout for Crawford. Four overall. Line drive caught. Oh no, he just couldn't hold on to it. Breggy caught it momentarily, but when the glove hit the dirt, that jostled the ball loose. That one's going to scoot away from Yiner Diaz and allow the runner Wilson to advance to second base. Down. Got him. Robert strikes out three in the inning, works around a single and a wild pitch, and through in the bottom half of the fourth. There's a ball down the right field line, and John has himself another hit. Big turn at first. Butler gets to it, but too late. John has two doubles to start this Thursday afternoon game. Time with a runner in scoring position. He's around the bunt, bunts it down the third base side. John's going to move to third. And Jake Myers watched the A's successfully win a game with a bunt the other night. Ground ball to the infield in. No chance to score Singleton. Glove there by Tyler Nevin for the second out. Little cue shot to the right side. Mauricio's going to try and beat the pitcher to the bag. Instead, it's the first baseman. Nevin who beats him to the bag as he makes the play unassisted. The ball can be smoked, but it's hit right into the ground. It's a routine ground ball. That's going to do it. Yeah, Cameron real frustrated with that timer violation that takes a call third strike. Okay, if I'm reading stat uh, baseball savant correctly. Well, there's one. That's just what we we're talking about. A little ball pounded to the ground. Wow. Pena. Got him. What a throw and what a play by JP3. Nine. <laughs> that's incredible. Another one chopped into the ground. This will be an easier play for Jeremy Pena. Jeremy made the play of the game so far. That's why Fromber is smiling. Top of the order, batting for the third time against Mitch Spence. And Alex Bregman goes out to the first pitch. He's done that a couple of times today. Plummer said it might be a leadoff hitter thing. <laughs> so probably trying to limit how much coverage Jordan has to have out there. Jordan hits the ball sharply, but he hits it at the first baseman, Tyler Nevin, who flips to the pitcher Spence for the second out. This one on the ground to short and Mitch Spence should have his first one two three inning and he does only six pitches needed to get through the fit. He's getting outpaced as far as ground ball outs. How about it. Yeah this will be number nine when Alex gets this one across for his ninth ground ball out. Spence has 12 lead. Shea Langoliers bats another one tapped towards third. This will be charged by Bregman. His throw will get the catcher Langoliers by a step and a half. Bregman has been busy. Helped his cause. Sharply hit past the diving John Singleton. J.J. Blade, who struck out his first two times up, has himself a two out double. That is the third hit allowed by Fromber. <laughs> Ground ball right side. It'll be Dubon who picks it nicely and makes the play for the final out of the inning. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> say you might have a spot in the marketing department. That ball popped high in the air. Nick Allen, the third baseman, waits for it to come down. And Tucker pops up for the first out of the sixth inning. Aggressive. And you're going to have a tough time trying to figure out how to get him out. It's just crazy that they score 
What, seven runs a game against playoff teams and then three runs a game. Yeah. Today limiting the Astros to two runs through five and two thirds and he'll get through six with those two runs allowed an underhand toss from Geloff ends the inning. Into center field shallow coming on Myers diving attempt can't get there backed up by Jason Hayward. Hayward will get it back in but it's a double for Jacob Wilson who has two of the four A's hits. Three ground outs but no strikeouts. Right side of the infield is going to advance the runner Wilson. Nevin retired for the first out. And now in the stretch position as he delivers home and that's going to be the first run of the game. That's going to snap a string of 31 scoreless innings at home for Framber Valdez. Daz Cameron with a base hit to make it a one run game. Chitter hitting for Nick Allen. Hits it sharply. Singleton with the foot on the bag, and they make the tag at second. Double play. Brian Abreu comes in, throws two pitches, and gets Brown to hit it to a first Houston home run. On the ground is short. Jacob Wilson is there. New first baseman is Seth Brown with Nevin moving to third. On the ground, right side, Geloff. Makes it 11 in a row, sent down by Spence. Hitting A's history. Mauricio Dubon sends one to left center field. Well struck, and that's going to be around the wall, rattling around in that corner out there. Mauricio Dubon, a two out base runner with a double, snaps 11 in a row, sent down by Spence. Ground ball, left side. Jacob Wilson will make that sidearm play, and that'll do it for the Astros in the seventh. Got him. Came back from 3-0, and and Presley picks up a strikeout to start his outing. Skies one to deep left center field. Jake Myers will watch this one go. Brent Rooker has tied the game at two here in the eighth inning. Home run number 36 on the year, RBI number 102. And he extends his on-base streak to a major league best 22 consecutive games. Looks like that was a changeup. They've been throwing Rooker a lot of changeups. This one just kind of flattened out and hung out over the plate. And Rooker blasted it. 420 foot shot came off the bat. Got him. Picks up his second strikeout of the inning. Sandwiched around that home run. Second strikeout for Presley. Two outs. It'll be a walk. With two outs, Blade will be a two out base runner. That ball hit well to left field. Jordan is going to make the catch, kind of staggered as he made that play. The Astros to two runs. This ball skied the left field, backing up on a Daz Cameron. He'll make the play in front of the wall as Jordan is retired for the first out. There's going to be the third hit. Yiner Diaz with a base hit dropped into right field. He is three for four and owns three of the Astros eight hits today. And there's his first hit against the lefty. Yiner will turn and hold up as that play was right in front of him. He could make the decision for himself as Tucker singles the other way. His second hit of the game. Jeremy sends one in the air to right field. Backing up is Butler tagging at second is Yiner Diaz also tagging is Tucker the throw comes to second Yiner gets to third It'll be first and third with two outs for John Singleton There's a the ball to center field a three hit game and the go ahead RBI for Singleton in the bottom half of the eighth inning big John having a big Thursday Jake Myers trying to add to the lead and he does Jake sends one to the gap in left center. Trotting home Tucker. Singleton on the move. He'll be held up. It is a 4-2 Astros lead. Jake Myers the RBI double. And now Jason Hayward will be intentionally walked to get to Mauricio Dubon here with the bases loaded. Not a... Base that. hit. Left field. One run in. Here comes Myers. He is going to be safe at home plate. 
Six to two Astros. A back pick Hayward. They may look at this play, but yeah. Kumar possibly, possibly too. Possibly too, yeah. This ball popped up. It's going to end the inning, you would think. Zach Geloff puts it away. But a big four run bottom half of the eighth inning. Play on a regular basis, his 13th start of the last 16 games, but Hayter makes quick work of the young rookie shortstop. That's one away here in the ninth. To give the Astros a lead in the bottom half of the eighth inning. This ball hit to right, hit pretty well. Hayward back, and that's going to be gone. Tyler Nevin with his seventh home run of the season. Hits one out to right and makes it a three run game. It's now six to three. The A's have scored a run in each of the last three innings. Nev got a pitch. It was on that outer third, so he did a good job of going with it, but I think just elevated enough to be able to barrel this and shoot it out to right field. It's in his DNA. His dad had great power going to the opposite field, and here. Tyler able to show his own going the other way. Appeared in 61 games twice in his career prior to this, including last season with the Padres. Gator will be making one of his stops at his former stomping grounds. Called third strike, ball game over. Astros win a game in this series, six to three. They snap a three game losing streak. Big John came through huge today. The Astros scoring four in that eight. No, they needed some big swings late. They went two out crazy on the Oakland A's pitching to be able to drive in four runs in that ninth and get that win. There's only one word that describes it. Salvage. <laughs> the Astros do salvage a W today. It'll make for a happy flight out to the West Coast. They end up going three and three on this homestand and they now lead.